Okay guys, I want to welcome you for my first video tutorial about GDevelop. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize about my bad English. That is because English is not my first language and this video quality is not very good because I don't have a very good computer and my mic is bad. About uh, GDevelop and why I love this program. Uh, I am artist and uh, as artist I don't, I don't want to spend a lot of time, my free time, to learn code and coding. And that is why I love this program because I can spend all my time on art and make things that I like. And I think that GDevelop deserves much more attention and much more video tutorials, and no one is doing it. And I think I will try. In this tutorial, we will make a simple crafting survival game. Uh, everything that I learned about GDevelop and working with GDevelop, I learned I learn my, by myself. And it's very important to know that one thing that you want to do, you can do it on a hundred different ways and I will show you my way for, for that. Ok, let's start. Uh, this is the main page of gdevelop, gdevelop5, I, I think it's beta5. We will uh, click on create new project. We have a, a platformer, space shooter, or other example, but I always use use a empty game. This is the main menu of your project. You have a game settings, properties. You have a project name. You can call it what you ever want. I will call it this game uh, first tu tutorial. Uh, this is uh, your game windows size. Uh, this is not important because we can change it it uh, anytime your auto author name i will i will put my own name and uh, you can put what, whatever you want now click apply Okay, this is a uh, global va variables. Uh, variables are very important. Variables are the heart of your game. Everything that you do and things are doing in your game, they are done by variables. But we will talk, to talk about variables in later tutorials. Um, here you are. Here you have a scenes. Scenes are important um, because um, in scenes, in scenes, you everything that happens in your games are happening in scenes. And oh, let let's add a new scene. We will call it I don't know a new scene.
okay this is your scene windows window uh, here you have events events are important very because you here you write your simple code and everything that you write here applies to your new scene um, here you have your external events every time you, you make a new scene uh, you get this event that is linked with that scene but in uh, external events you can link every every event with every scene and that is ve very important because when you write uh, some code and you want to apply it on mul multiple scenes uh, that is why you use external events okay let's click on the new scene here you have your game windows and this is what you will see when you click play and everything that is in these boundaries that will you see here right you have uh, objects uh, of everything that you have in your games will be here now let's click on add a new object uh, here we have a sprite text and couple others we will talk about others in future videos for now we will use sprite uh, it's this is object name and it's very important to rename and name your object so when you have a hundred uh, two hundred objects uh, you can find what you want easier I will name this object background and now I will click apply and uh, now we must go to Photoshop to make our background. Okay, this is a uh, Photoshop. We will start making our background with size for start. I don't know for thousand with one thousand we go file new okay I will make some something very simple but you can make whatever you want for background For background I use only paint brush and change opacity and flow, color and layers. I will make now something simple. My computer is very slow, this will take a couple of minutes.
okay I think this is uh, good enough now we'll save this, save this like uh, jpg or png and that will that we will use in gdevelop It's very important that you save your CV and measure your file in pixels because that will make a impact on size on the screen. Now we will put our background in this sprite object. You click here on Add Animation. And now you, you have your object here and this is animation 0. But for background we will not need animations maybe I don't know now click apply now we'll click on this object bow background and then click on the screen somewhere on the screen and now you see that our background is here I, I like this program very much because it's like a puzzle to me and when I have free time I try to solve a puzzle on my own way and we will try to make a surviving game that and crafting that you have an inventory that you have a tree, that you have a player, that you have a different resource and I think um, that will that will, will be a very interesting thing and this program deserve a lot of more attentions because it's the future and uh, this is my first video ever and I don't know I think I will in future I will be better so this is the, the end of first tutorial in the second I will tutorial I will show you how to make a character avatar and how to uh, how to do animations and simple coding thank you very much